You ever wonder why military people point with their whole hand? Don't worry, I'll learn you it. Because today we're talking about the most psychologically damaging melee weapon of all time. The knife hand. It is the most iconic hand gesture inside of the American unhealthcare system, spanning across all branches. So where did it come from? While we don't know for sure, it's believed that it came into popularity during the American Civil War. Being that it was fought with actual muskets and cannons, it created a literal fog of war. This fog made it hard to see where people were pointing, so troops would adapt pointing with their entire hand to improve visibility. It's extremely common to see pictures of military leaders from that era posing with their knife hand sheathed, a way of letting the world know I always keep that thing on me. But in an era of radios and cell phones, why would that still be relevant? Well, as my drill sergeant told me, it is an effective tool of leadership. You see, when you point the finger at someone, you've got three fingers pointed back at you. But when you point the knife hand at someone, you're letting them know it is 100% their fucking fault. You see, inside of the American unhealthcare system, being on the wrong end of a drill instructor's knife hand is a rite of passage. It is quite literally the American military equivalent of when the monkey rubs the grape jelly on Simba's forehead. Except instead of whispering, Simba. That drill instructor's gonna yell, God damn it, private, so fucking loud, it's no wonder the three M earplugs don't work. He's then gonna proceed to make you do push-ups till he gets tired of watching you, while he explains to you your deficiencies as a human being in detail. And then he's probably gonna explain the deficiencies of your mother's parenting ability while he's at it. Now, if you see a knife hand in the wild, don't be alarmed. It might not be bad, because there's two different flavors of knife hand. There's a positive knife hand and a negative knife hand. Positive knife hand just means I'm absolutely sure. For example, if you ask someone in the military for directions, then they go, yeah, it's that way, and they they point with their finger like a normal person, that's them telling you, I'm pretty sure it's that way. But if they don't say anything and they just go, hmm, they're nonchalantly telling you that shit is absolutely that way. Not only am I positive, but all five phalange delegates on my meat mitten just held an election and they're fucking positive too. And then you have the negative knife hand and it's terrifying. For all intents and purposes, it is the military equivalent of looky here, motherfucker. Like, look at this young man, for example. You can't see it in the picture, but his butthole went from normal to sweaty like that. Like he knows he's got three seconds to unfuck himself or that guy's gonna unfuck him so hard he's gonna be a born again virgin. PT belt or not, but that's a different video. I'll give you a real life example. This is Marine General and American poet Mad Dog Mathis, a man responsible for elegant poetry like, and I quote, always carry a knife with you in case there's a cheesecake or you need to stab somebody. Yeah, 575, that's a stab you. Mmm, poetry jokes. I could do a whole video on this man's quotes alone, but I just need you to understand he's a huge badass. And this is a picture of him giving the knife hand. There's only one other military person in the room, and he's a four-star general, and his face says it all. That is the look that an older brother has when his younger brother has been being a dick to his mom all day, and dad just got home from work. Just that expression of, I remember when I had to learn this, dad's gonna put his lunchbox down and beat your fucking ass. In conclusion, the knife hand is America's weapon of mass and Instruction that you want pointed everywhere but at you. Merch store and all my other links are available at thefatelectrician.com. Quackbang out.